guys, welcome back to my channel. It is AKA Educator underscore Curls here, also known as Nia, and today we're talking about twisting uh, your natural hair. So let's get into it. All right, so first of all, um, I wanna talk a little bit about what I did in my hair today. So I two strand twisted the back of my hair. Um, one, because my hair is finally getting back to a length in which I can twist my hair and like make it a few days and they're not really short. Um, I mean, they are short right now, but they're not really short and very shrunken um, and I can stretch them, which is what I'm gonna try to do tonight. Um, so let me show you what I did. First of all, I two strand twisted the back of my hair. Y'all see that shine? I'm gonna talk about what's in it, but. I two strand twisted the back of my hair and then I put the top of my hair up in a bun but I did that by taking this section of my hair and splitting it into two, two strand twisting that, and then wrap twisting the two strand twists, if that makes sense. So that's how I got this like knotted bun type of looking thing right now, all right? So I did that mainly because when I twist my hair, I don't actually like hair here, like on my forehead. Um, I tend to enjoy my hair being pulled back a little bit more when my hair is twisted. So, um, that's a really big piece of it. So I want to talk about twisting my natural hair. Some people, uh, through the winter and fall do protective styles pretty religiously. I have never been that person. I've typically been the person who does a wash and go almost all the time through any season. I am now coming to the conclusion, especially as my hair gets longer, that my hair is knotting within itself a lot more. And I probably need to be doing some more protective styles to retain my length. Um, and maintain the health of my hair. So one of the things I'm gonna be trying this winter is two strand twisting my hair a little bit more into some different creative styles. Hence why we have the style we have today. So today I used my She Scented Passion Fruit and Flax Leave-In Conditioner and then I used um, the Dew's Mousse Death. Um, I, in the past, have tried creams and they have not given me enough hold. Um, and so today I decided to try a mousse with it and I'm impressed. First of all, my hair has amazing shine. Um, it does have a little bit of a cast, which I appreciate in my twists. Um, and I'm interested to see how it lasts through uh, the next few days. So that's what I'm gonna be trying out through this week. So like I said, um, I used a leave-in conditioner and mousse. Most of you guys know I've been trying mousses and they've really been working for my curly hair. And so I've been trying to figure out what other styling things I can do with the mousses and twists is clearly on that list. So, um, so far I love it. I'm really, really excited to see how it dries and how it uh, dries even if I decide to take them out and fluff them out. Um, Cause I'm really curious as what that looks like. Um, typically when I two strand twist, I put them into like these smaller ones and I just twist my hair. I'll comb it through, detangle completely, um, and then twist, two strand twist my hair while smoothing. That's a really big technique for me. It just allows the cuticle to lay flat and allows this twist to not frizz out as much. Um, and so that is what I did in my hair today. So this was a really creative impromptu style. This video is not gonna be super long because I just woke up and decided to do them. Um, but I am interested and I'm going to be trying different twisted styles on my channel so that you guys can see what I've been trying out and how things are working. And then I'll talk about the products that I use to be able to obtain that style. Um, with my slick bun, I used my Wetline Extreme to just kind of slick my roots, but that was the only gel that's in my hair at all today. So. Um, really, really impressed with the results, really, really impressed with how it came out, and super excited to see how it dries. So thank you guys so much for tuning in um, and seeing about like how I twisted my hair and what I used in my twists. Um, and then I'm gonna try to come back to you guys and show you what this looks like tomorrow. All right, bye. Good morning, y'all. Um, sorry for the weird noise. I'm by my tranquility water spout right now. Um, it is the next morning at about 8 a.m. Um, and I wanted to show you guys the takedown of my hair. So yesterday I actually took the twists out at around 5 o'clock. And I separated them a pretty good deal. Um, and so last night I slept with a satin scrunchie on them. Um, which now that I'm taking it down I probably should have retwisted. Because it's lost a lot of the definition. Uh, that I had yesterday. It also stormed yesterday, so I'll 
kind of chuck it up to that as well. But I wanted to show you guys my hair on the second day. Uh, what I will likely do today with the back of my hair is actually re-spritz it with water um, and just wear my natural curl pattern because the twist out state with mousse is what I can't really get to stay yet. Um, so I'm gonna keep trying it out and figure out what combination works to give me that hold that gives me more than one day um, because right now that's what I'm not getting. And then I also need to figure out how to sleep with my hair so that the crease isn't created and then like the curls are not super frizzy. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and at least watching the first part of the twist out um, styling series what I'm gonna do is keep dropping a series of different twisting styles um, and we're gonna try them out and see how they work and see how I like them and see how I don't um, I think the next time I try a twisting style I'm gonna try a cream and see how that goes maybe <laughs> but I'll keep you guys posted so again thank you guys so much for tuning in like comment subscribe share with friends and as always have a blessed weekend bye guys